Let's do this. Part two. I never do this, but I'm doing it. Rent or buy part two. I'm talking about the same game that everybody hates. I guess. I don't know if people hate this game. And I'm going to say it again. It's my favorite in the series all of the time. Like, my favorite. This is my part two review. Because people have been commenting, Hey, you didn't finish the game. Uh, you can't do a review. Uh, I love those, love those comments. Fuels my fire to do this. I finished the game. And it's the first game of my life. You finish it. And then they tell you straight to your face. They say, are you up for the challenge? Do you want some more? You know what the game is? The game is a big adventure. I'm excited about this. I thought I was like, yeah, 10 hours in. And I did most of the main story. And I did some challenges. Because you have to collect the orbs to unlock the gates to fight the boss, right? Throughout the levels, some level has three orbs. Others have five. And the challenges you unlock that you find throughout the levels, they give you... You have to do those runs in an amount of time. And I love those. Um, they always, to get the third orb, you have to do like under 30 seconds. But yeah. And uh, I had to do a couple of those to unlock the final gate. The final gate boss is 160. Final gate boss, might we specify. To unlock the gate is 160 orbs. Then you unlock it and you defeat it. And at the end... Guess what? It's called a big adventure. They whip you out a completely other world. It was such a surprise. I'm happy for it. So technically, I'm not finished it. So five worlds. That would be world six when you finish the game, like the main boss and everything. The final boss was like, I'm like, oh man, it's kind of easy, but ordinary. But yeah, it's the final boss. It's okay. So maybe they botched it up. So yet I'm doing this video and I didn't finish the game. I can't stop saying that. I've got to stop saying that. You got to leave the negative out. So I finished the main story. What you want to do when you play this game, don't uh, do what I did. Pretty much skim through the levels. Try to collect as much orb as you want. But go thoroughly. Try to finish every level 100%. Because then when you get to that super extra world unlock when you finish the main game um it will ask you you got 160 something orbs when i finished it's gonna ask you to have 260 orbs to unlock the next gate in the other level and then i think further on it's 275 to defeat the real final boss of the game so don't bash on this game. This game has so much to offer. And if you want to create and you're not happy about the create mode not being there, I don't really... I'll be honest. I didn't play the create mode that much. Like, I'm not a Mario Maker kind of player. So it's not a big deal to me. Because people make, like... But people that created in Little Big Planet, I do agree. They were really creative and nice channel. I mean, uh, levels... And I kind of miss that. True. They couldn't. Maybe they'd patch it up, but it would be hard to design a 3D level. Or they could actually let us... Because there are some 2D, 2D side-scroller level. And that's the negative point for people is not having the creative mode. I do understand. We, we think they should be... They should add that. But I got this. I got this today. 29 bucks for Black Fire special. So if you want some creative mode from the creators of Little Big Planet, you can go get dreams, I guess. So people talk to me about the creative mode. I'm like, man, don't we have a game for this? So I got this today. Finally, maybe eventually play it. So uh, again, must buy, must own. Best in the series. Like when I mean best, it's the best best ever right better than this and better than this and this but yes the creative mode of the good old games uh, I gotta get my Vita Vita series there was a Vita little big planet too creative mode was great but still, 
part two rent or buy. I'm still sold. I've finished the main story 10 hours in, but don't do what I did. Go back 100% plus. It's so painful to play without music. Sony, maybe next time make a copyright free strike music for the game so I could play with music like everybody else. The music is just so amazing. What I'll do is I'll redo all the level. I miss the orbs, I won't record the stuff, and I'll play with the music. That's what I'll do. Then when I get to that other world, I am already in it. There's a level you can do, but then it asks you to get 260 orbs to unlock. So spoiler alert. Maybe I should say that at the beginning of the video. That's not the real ending. I should have said that. Sorry. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Sorry for the spoiler, but it's an amazing game. Has lots to offer. I'm vouching for this game. Nobody paid me, Sony. Sony didn't pay me. In Sony back in the days, uh, stuff happened, but, you know, best in the series. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Best in the series. So let's go do some unboxing Black Friday special. Started today, Thursday. And I got so much to unbox. Let's go do that.